Hi everybody, this is my control board for Fusion Seeker Solar Tracking Controllers which I designed myself and built. Here are some basic uh, basic uh, controls for the Fusion Seeker device. Here you switch the Fusion Seeker on or off and here there are two parts uh, because the fusion seeker is a dual axis that means he's got up and down control and east and west control on the left side you can control you can control up and down either with automatic or by manual when the switch is on position automatic uh, this means that fusion seeker is controlling the solar panel rotating when you put the switch on manual, you can uh, you can control it manually by switching up on the or down. And the right side is the same thing, but for east and west axis. When you switch when when the switch is on auto, the fusion seeker rotates your solar panels uh, towards the sun. When you switch on uh, manual then you manually rotating by this switch to position east or to position west where switching in the middle the there is no rotation so this is it uh, this is the fusion sickle controller it is used for the rotating of the of the solar panels uh, I am using it uh, for photovoltaic solar panels, but it can also be used for uh, water heating or for uh, other concentrating sun heating. This is this is the type of control I have. This is the dual axis fusion seeker model, which is then controlled with my my own designed control control board. Here is uh, here is the original schematics based on which I designed my PCB. On the left side, it's a uh, on the left side it's a azimuth part, which means east and west and on the right side is an elevator part which uh, elevates the photovoltaics photovoltaic models up and down and on the elevation part there is an option for uh, for anemometer which uh, which gives the signal to the to the control board that the photovoltaic model uh, photovoltaic boards must be uh, positioned horizontally in order to prevent damage from the wind. So when the anemometer senses the high wind speed, it uh, shuts this contact and this gives information through the control board uh, that motor should rotate the photovoltaic panel horizontally so that uh, wind, wind uh, blows have no influences. I draw the this schematic in my eagle, eagle cat. This is the schematic of it. All the switches and all the and relays are here. Relays are used for anemometers. And this is the PCB for this project for this control board. All of that is in, in it. On the back side there are four screws which are used to fix the PCB to the to the box. Okay, now I will open the box to see how how it looks uh, in the inside. So let's take a look inside. So this is the PCB. It has an additional uh, protection from uh, corrosion or uh, 
protection of the leads here. There are a few spacers here which goes to this little hole and then four screws are fixing it, fixing it. And here there are two relays. Relays are used for uh, for that anemometer contact. When anemometer senses high wind speed, then it gives a signal which is through these relays then uh, uh, tells the motors to rotate the to elevate the photovoltaic panels horizontally. As you can see, there are many wires in there because there are many switches. It's, it's for a dual axis controller. So each, each part up and down and east and west has its separate, separate part on this PCB. Here are the terminals, one on the right which has eight, uh, eight, uh, eight wire places and on the left there are ten, ten uh, terminals. The right side has got ten terminals, this is the elevation side. Uh, it's got two more terminals because of the anemometer. Uh, anemometer input. And that's it. Once again, let's see the schematics. This is the schematics. So this is the elevation part. Terminals 9 and 10 are used for the anemometer. Uh, terminals 7 and 8 are used for the uh, power supply connection. So it's better to look to look here. 9 and 10 are used for anemometers. 7 and 8 are used for power supply. Uh, 1, 2, 3 and 4 are connecting to the Fusion Seeker module itself, Fusion Seeker controller, and terminals 5 and 6 are connected on the actuators, on the motors, which are rotating the photovoltaics. Similar thing is for the azimuth part, except there are no, there are no anemometer connections. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video.